So today we're going to take a tour around this retro bit, Super Retro Trio Plus. On the front you have mention of the fact that it's HDMI enhanced and that it's for the Genesis, the NES, and the SNES. Down at the bottom it mentions that the um, HDMI foot footage is six, six feet long. And it goes on to mention that there's two classic controllers in it, that it's multi-region compatible, so any carts you have will be just fine. And uh, there's both HDMI and AV support, so if you just have a CRT that you want to use, you can. It mentions the same basic stuff on the one side, and on this side it mentions that there is controllers for all three systems there. Uh, as well as a flap that can close over it if you just aren't using it at all. Um, and then lastly, it shows the HDMI and AV ports. And I already know that they printed this box before they settled on the final um, form factor, so it's not actually one of those round barrel AC adapters. It's actually just micro USB, so that's good too. Alrighty, on the back. Sorry, I had to rotate. It's a, it's a big box. You can see how wide I am. Alrighty, so as it shows in Reflective Silver, Super Retro Trio Plus, again HDMI enhanced, retro gaming has a new look. Uh, step up your retro gaming experience and relive three classic systems like never before in crisp 720p resolution. I just got to turn it this way, sorry. The, the SR3 Plus uh, is the premium top loading console for your NES, SNES, and Genesis games, meaning they don't anticipate you sliding an NES cartridge in through the side, it's top loader. Um, custom built with three cartridge slots, six controller ports, and now HDMI compatibility. They say and now because the previous version did not have that. Um, it goes on to say that it's compatible with NES, SNES, Genesis cartridges, custom built with NTSC, PF, MJ, and PA region switch. So that's a lot of regions, and we'll talk about that in a review. AV and HDMI compatible includes two 10-foot wired six-button controllers. Uh, the controllers are compa uh, compatible with the SNES and RetroBit consoles, so that means the, con control the controllers that they come with will work on their system, but also you can use it if you want to play on your normal SNES. Uh, and then it has two controller ports for each NES, SNES, and Genesis controllers. That's everything on there. It makes mention of nothing else super fancy, just there, how to get a hold of them on social media outlets. And that's it. Let's open up the inside. I've got it open. There we go. Set the box aside. Ooh, it smells nice. Nice and plasticky. You get just this flimsy plastic. You don't need it more than just the one time, so that's fine. There's a manual inside, as you will need that. There is the wall adapter for it. The micro USB that we talked about. The two <laughs> massively long retro bit controllers. The same four factor as the Oh, what is it called? The Super Retro Arcade. And here's the extremely long HDMI cord. But this is the meat and potatoes. Interestingly enough, I'm just now noticing there's hand grooves on here for some reason. Take it out of the plastic. It smells nice and plasticky. Oh, wow, those are really strong. They have a lot of pushback. You get stuck in those. That's amazing. I thought they were just going to be. I don't even know. You know, like. Super flimsy. There's a switch there that toggles between the systems and off. And there's a reset button as well. The back has exactly what we thought it would, which is the HDMI, AV, and micro USB. And the front, hey, right, click it out, that's fun. As they said, two NES, two SNES, two Genesis, and then there's various switches, NTSC, PE, which is PAL Europe, NJ, which is NTSCJ, and PA, which is PAL Australia, I believe. And then you would swap between 
um, the which controllers you want to use, whether it be you use the SNES controller for everything, or you can swap to this one, which is the other one, so that lets it know that if you want to pull from the Genesis or the Nintendo controller slots. And that's it. Pretty nice.